What is up guys, it's your boy Goose Attack here today with a brand new video. I'm gonna be cracking into that Charizard GX box. You can get these at Walmart. I know there's a massive amount of them in my local Walmart. They go for about well fifty dollars Canadian, so I'm not sure. Probably about thirty American to twenty five, I'm guessing, because the exchange rate is just sick. So these cards, uh, well these boxes come with yourself with uh, a nice Charmander Hollow. A Charmeleon Hollow and that gorgeous Charizard GX. The full art. You can't get this in Burning Shadows. This is the only way to get the full art Charizard, which is a great card to have in the collection. Now, this is probably like my fifth or sixth one. Just the only thing is I do not like about these boxes is that they come packed with all that plastic background. So it's a bit dangerous to pull these out. They come sometimes a bit warped or in dangerous condition because of the bat packing. I mean, to be honest, the Charmander and the Charmeleon are easy to get out. It's just Charizard. It's kind of like only that bottom thumb piece. But even at that, like, I don't know about you guys, but my hands are a bit big. So anyway, so got it out. Also comes with a pin that I forgot to show. And that's it. Here's the card. I fixed the lighting for you guys. Oh. So not in the best of condition. You can already see the corners have gotten some wear. See a nice little sharp bend. Well, it's because the cards are not packed good, to my opinion. So... I mean, it's just something normal that ends up happening. So here's the card. It's a good looking card. I mean, I love the full art Charizard. It's almost got that belly beer belly in front, which is looking good. <laughs> and not bad. I mean, not gradable to my opinion, but it's always good to have a Charizard promo card. These are the two Chameleons Charmander. The back is not bad. Actually, better than a lot better than the Charizard, which is kind of sad. The Charmeleon, not bad. So I guess the worst cards get packed better. Comes with this plastic, comes with this pin too. I really do like the pin that they give. This cool looking Charizard pin. I would almost get this in a necklace form. Comes also with a total of, I think five packs, oops. Comes with five packs or six, wait a minute. One, two, three. Comes with six packs. One of them I'm not too happy about. Two or three of them that I am happy about. So basically, we'll, we'll flirt it in this order. Wait, here's you guys. This is a cold card for everybody. Ooh. There you go. Comes with a Steam Seed, Garble, Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, a Sun and Moon Base, Guardians Rising, and a Burning Shadow. So we'll keep the Burning Shadows for the end because, I mean, if you end up pulling a Rainbow Rare Charizard out of this GX box, it's just like the ultimate clutch. So also comes with this huge ass, like, Charizard GX card that kind of just wastes room to my opinion, but hey. Anyways, guys, so let's get cracking into this. It's been about three minutes. We've been opening up the box that we've opened up at least ten times so far on my channel. So, not looking forward to Steam Siege. I mean, we did get lucky last time we opened up this Charizard GX box on my channel. We ended up getting a full art Gardevoir, if I remember right. So, let's check it out. See if we can keep the Steam Siege luck going, even though they're cards are not that great Ooh, some bad condition cards wow anyways okay guys starting with this greedy dice persian rapidash dino chinchar just fix the lighting a bit there you go chinchar rufflet shawl oils Cooking Pokemon, Cluncher. Ooh, we got ourselves a break of a, a Tabla Female, which is pretty good. Ta Talu Flame, Talon Flame, Talon Flame, that's the proper way of saying it. That's cool, I keep forgetting about these break cards. Pretty easy to get a pull compared to Prism Stars, to my opinion. I mean, we get gotten a lot more breaks than I've ever gotten Prism Stars, so that's a great card. And the rare of the pack is a Toxicroak Non Hollow. So I guess we can revise something at the end of this with the. Uh, the condition of that break. Hopefully we get something better than that. I mean, really hope we get something better than that. Because it'd be a pretty sad opening if we don't. Let's get into this Guardians Rising, guys. Let's see if we can get ourselves a ooh, white color cold card. So that looks great. I mean, look how off cut this white this cold card is, guys. Look at the left to the right. That is so funny. Thank God it's just a cold card. Condition of these cards look great, so thank God it didn't mimic the cold card. So we got ourselves a machoke. Glissor, Kamul, Carnivon, Tallow, Jagmo, O, Delibird, Trubbish. First of all is a Clefairy, which is just a common. 
And the rare of this pack is, uh, ooh, we got ourselves a Drampa GX, guys. Nice. Uh, pulled a nice GX out of this box, thank God. Sometimes it's hard to end up getting these guys. This is a nice one, too. I always like Drampa. It's kind of like an old man dragon. I do like the, uh, the art of the Drampa. I do like him as a Pokemon. Condition, the card looks good, too. Centering is, ooh. Ooh, actually, centering is a bit off from top to bottom. Top is a bit chunkier than the bottom part, but it's okay. Super happy about that. And we're getting ourselves a GX. You guys, onto the Sun and Moon base. I mean, we got the got some luck from last time from opening this. We got ourselves a Lily Full Art Trainer, which is a great card to get from the Sun and Moon base. Okay. Ooh, and I have another white color cold card, guys. So this is like to be a lucky box. Hopefully, this is the Great Ball. That'd be an amazing pull. Okay, guys. Start. Oh, sorry, the Ultra Ball. <laughs> Starting with a Great Ball. Boldor. Lily, Tagatu Maro, Alolan Grimer, Fumantis, Cosmog, Reganrola, Reverse Hollow is a Hoot, which is a pretty good card. I've seen this in play a lot in the TCG. And the rare of this pack is a Hollow Sharpedo. It's kind of hard to see the Hollows in the Sun and Moon, to my opinion. I mean, they made them a little light. It would have been cooler if they would have added some swirls or even some stars inside just to give it more of a variation. But it's always good to pull a hollow out of the Sun and Moon base. You get to put it on the side as a pull. Why not? Okay, guys, three packs left, two of which are Guardi of our uh, Burning Shadows. You got one Guardians Rising is the last one of this box. So, so far it's been good. We've gotten only white color cold cards, but I feel like this is a green now. I mean, the luck has to end somewhere, and there it is. Maybe we get ourselves a Prism Star out of this if we are lucky. Ooh, cards are kind of damaged. I don't know. Guardians Rising looks to be a bit uh, off cut, to my opinion. They look like they were cut a bit too roughly. Watch Hog. Slowbro. Do love the artwork of Slowbro. Alone Sans True. Cotton. Bellsprout. I find Bellsprout always has some cool looking artwork, guys. I forget what she said. I think it's in the team up. Bellsprout has an amazing artwork where he's a bunch of, with a bunch of friends inside of a, like a spring forest, looks like. It looks really good. Gligar. Hello, NGO, dude. Vanilla Ux is the reverse hollow, and this is, oh, this is a rare. Forgot about this being a rare. Not too much of a fan of the ice cream Pokemon. Kind of a weird looking thing. And the rare of the pack is a Orcorio. This is the rare, non hollow. Okay, guys. So, on to these last two packs. Hopefully, we get that rare, well, rare Charizard. That'd be just like an amazing pull, guys. I'd love to add one to the next to this one. I mean, it is super hard to pull the rainbow rare Charizard. I keep seeing videos like, for example, Diamond's Pokemon, where they do not have great odds on that. So, looks like we're not starting off good. Green color cold card. So, let's get in there. Got ourselves an escape rope. Buffalant. Electrolyte. Tynamo. Mudbury. Stuffle. Noibat. Sock. Reverse Hollows and Alolan Grimer. It's always hard to see the dark Pokemon Reverse Hollows. I mean, you really got to move them around to catch them. I do love that yellow border with the uh, black. Kind of looks like a sick card. do love the whole print of this. And the rare, this Burning Shadows, is a Crabinobble. Which is kind of a common rare, to my opinion. Anyways, guys, on to the last pack of Burning Shadows. I mean, hopefully these get a white color cold card. And hopefully behind that white color cold card is a Rainbow Rare Zard. Because that would just be the most clutch thing ever, I think. And it is a white color cold card, so this is one part of the two. Hopefully the stars align today and we get ourselves a Rainbow Resort out of this Charizard GX box. Real Pied. Guzma, always a great card to pull Guzma. This is almost a $5 card, four or $5 card American, so it's a great card to pull in this pack already. Crawbrill. Charmander, get the art to my Charmander collection. Schneezel. Alolan Grimer again, showing off that cool black and yellow. Ralts. River Solo is a Noctowl, which is just an uncommon. And the rare and final card of this opening of the Charizard GX box is a... Is a Necrozma GX. Super happy about that. Okay, at least we got ourselves two GXs out of this box and a Hollow. Let's check the condition of this card. Looks good, honestly. The uh, centering is... Gr Ooh, yeah, centering is okay. Might be off by a little bit from the top to bottom, but not very noticeable. Left to right is good. Nothing nicked or knacked. So then a crossbow came in great shape. 
So not bad for this pull. I ended up getting a break. I ended up getting a drop of GX from the Guardians Rising. A hollow from the Sun and Moon base. And another GX from the Burning Shadows, guys. So not bad, not bad today. We ended up getting, what was it? We'll say three pulls because I won't count the break too much as a hit. Three pulls out of six. So that's a half for a half. I mean, that's pretty good. Nothing too crazy, but hey, what are you going to do? Well, guys, thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow with another video. Goose Attack is out.